the question is, you know, how does a country drive sustained productivity growth uh, over time? That's the question facing the United States, that's the question facing the UK, that's the question facing every single country. The challenges to keep productivity growing get harder and harder and harder as you get wealthier and wealthier and wealthier. Uh, the bar keeps rising. And the things you have to do take longer uh, in order to bear uh, fruit. As foreign companies have brought in the capacity to innovate, as they've brought in uh, new management practices, as they've uh, tied the UK more into global networks, uh, this has been a symbiotic relationship. Uh, foreign investment has benefited from the UK, but also benefited the UK. Uh, the UK has made remarkable progress in reinvesting in innovation, in putting capital into innovation, in creating the institutional structure for innovation. The UK clearly has one of the best science and technology infrastructures in the world. But yet, we have a chronic issue that's not new of the output of all that innovative activity in terms of commercialization, in terms of actual uh, science and technology uh, accomplishments. The UK has a very, very favorable location in the world. And that has been one of the bedrocks of why companies are here um, and, and, and why companies will continue to be here. The location coupled with the language, uh, coupled with a substantial population, uh, coupled with such a, a rich uh, and varied uh, culture and history and heritage and set of other assets are, are, are really fundamental to the success this country has achieved. Uh, a business environment depends on having rules of the game that really stimulate competition and investment uh, that underpins productivity. Uh, again, the UK has made a lot of progress in this area. This is one of the most striking transformations that we see if we look over the last 10 or 20 years in this country. Competition is open. Uh, there's a lot of rivalry. There's strong uh, uh, protection of competition, good IP protection, good investor protection, improving corporate governance. These areas, I think, are, are, have been re really transformed. This has become a, a real UK strength. Now, the UK has embarked on a significant and, I think, historic effort to regionalize and localize much more uh, economic thinking and policy. But that effort, as important as it is, has a ways to go. We know that regions specialize in different fields and build clusters in different areas. And each of, the, each of our regions, each of our major uh, metropolitan areas needs to have a strategy, too. This country is making real, tangible progress. And what we must do in this country is continue down this path. Uh, we're on the path of trying to build innovation infrastructure, improve the university system, uh, create the uh, technological vitality of the country, improve the incentives for innovation with R&D tax credits and this patent box idea, which I think is excellent. That's the right path. We have to stay on that path. This is the holy grail of economic development, how to stimulate startups and small businesses. And the UK has been uh, uh, working on this issue with your help, uh, with collaboration with the business community. I'm, I'm confident that uh, the, the, the basic circumstances are here to step up entrepreneurship. But again, it's going to take continued uh, effort. I think the UK will capture more than its fair share of, of investment in, in this general region.